uh, was it morning, lunch or afternoon, can't remember. It's definitely 4pm, a, a bit of a lopsided 4pm clearly. Oh, yes, Debbie. It's very blustery out there. In my defence, there's not a lot I can do with my hair when it's this blustery, other than wear a hat. Anyway, apparently it was uh, eight hours ago since I saw you at the ATM, four hours ago since I saw you at the, uh, the 12.30, and it's now almost four o'clock. All right, CK, good to see you. My dad just coming through, passing through. <laughs> You put on a bit of a wiggle there, my dad. He just said to me, can I open the, door, the front door? You know, they have to go round. I said, dad, you can walk through. No one can see you. He said, that's a shame. Such an exhibitionist sometimes, my dad. I might lure him onto the screen one day, just to say hello. Uh, Carol, afternoon. Are you ready? Are you ready for us? Wait, have you just been watching the, um, the Wimbledon? Oh, upsets me when they get upset. She was proper upset, wasn't she? That hurts my heart a bit. So um, I only caught the kind of, I don't know, half of the second set, third set, should I say. So I wasn't really in the zone of a Wimbledon final, but she, 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 got, she got me in the zone when, I, when we watched her in the, in the, in the loser's speech. Uh, did you watch the tennis? I can see you're arriving. Messages aren't coming through yet. Bridget is arrived. Afternoon. Bolt is in. All right. Is it windy where you are? It's really windy here. Suffice to say, some of you may remember uh, this time last year I was dressed up as a flamingo. That's uh, doing uh, doing the uh, the race for life event, which is this weekend here in Portsmouth. I was working today, so I was unable to um, unable to do the event again. Plus, I've packaged up my flamingo costume to a colleague, Vicky, who's going to use it for uh, for an event that she's doing in October. I think I think the event she's doing is going to really the flamingo isn't going to survive it. It's not. It's it's going to be covered in mud and dirt and wet, and it'll probably get its its, its neck removed from its body at some point. The flamingo has winged its way to another good cause. So uh, that event was what I'm saying is happening this weekend. So I went to, to collect mum um, and there's tents everywhere. It's kind of carnage down there. The wind has, has blown everything over. So um, we don't know if the, uh, the finale Candle of Hope event is going to go on tonight or not. Anyway, all right, Sandra, all right, Bridget, it's four o'clock. I'm going three to, that's me rambling. That's the preamble. If you can work that out, afternoon, Sue. Me, from Town Lee, lit up training, 4 p.m. movement snack. I'm in, uh, I'm in socks. You know what I say when I'm in socks. You might not be in socks. Make the right decisions for you, for your feet. Oh, I feel like I'm a bit imposing down in the camera lap. I've left my monopod in the car, so you're balanced on a mug and a, and a box. So hence the angleage. Let's get going for circ boost, folks. Extra, extra, lift and extend. Have a breath, weight even. You'll know if you want this external support, a little bit of a knee bend, start your steady circ boost. It's your third one today. Or maybe more, maybe you've crowbarred in some extras, I don't know, go on. Extra ankles, feet and toes, bit of that. Keep the, keep the toes low, keep your knees low. Add in the other moving parts if you like. Steady, rhythmical, comfortable. Everything about this circulation boosting activity should be achievable. It's, it's your win-win in the day. It's really windy. Yeah. Not your wind-wind, I said win-win. Um, and other options could be take the legs a little bit wider, have a bit of a bend, have a Wimbledon wiggle, and then bring in maybe a diagonal in stand. That's your standing options. We didn't, uh, didn't do a standing circuit boost in the noon because it's active sitting Saturday at the noon. So um, there's my first uh, bit, bit of standy for the falls. Here's your seated option, have a hip walk forward. All the same principles apply, feet back and down, get them on the go if you would like, or we'll start at the top end. The circuit boost is three minutes or so of 
of this rhythmical moves, top, bottom, top, bottom and together, if that works for you. And then that's it, we're ready to go. It might be, that's all you want for your movement snack, or you might want to stay for the sway. It's day six of sway. Uh, I put in a bit of a progression yesterday, so let's explore that a bit more today, see how we go. Sit or stand, get your position. As we always do, we'll run through the, the arms first without any legs or sway, and the arms are the same in sit or stand. And then we'll take the add-ons and you decide at which point you're going to stop and kind of say, okay, I'll stick with that level. It went like this as I'm trying to remember what it went like. Okay, arm moves went like this. We had a, a palm down at the top, palm up at the bottom. Think parallel lines and they cross over and change. Paralyze, parallel lines stay the same. There's one and here's the second one. We go for the third, but the third one changes something. At the crossover point, as we turn, we also go into a diagonal and back to base. And then a diagonal and back to base. And then you return to the parallel lines of one, two, and on the three, go diagonal, turn and diagonal, turn and parallel. So three parallel, uh, two parallels and on the third one, take a shift, take a diagonal shift and you can start to rah, add some extras to that if you want. So add a, a bit of a trunk in there if you fancy the feel of that. Take a pause. That's uh, essentially the arm movement that we can do in sit or stand. There's some lower limb if you would like it. So just while you um, decide if you're going to bring arms and legs together, we rehearse the front, uh, the legs on their own first. This requires slightly wider for this one. You might want some support to check in with this. And it's a sway. Sway. And it's a sway, a bit of, an, a, bit of a knee bend. You've still got both feet firmly planted onto the floor. It can be as small as you want. And that sway is going to be added to the arms if you like. So it looks like this feels like this back to the beginning there's no sway on the parallel lines or one two the sway comes in on the diagonal so there's the change and there's the diagonal back to base change carry on for the diagonal back on the parallel lines no legs one here's the third one Da -da. And you can start to start to eke it out a bit if you want. Eke it out, back on parallel. And then yesterday there was one more. Have a look at this. So I went into the diagonal, but this time the hand comes down and we go over the top. Diagonal, back to base. One. One, arms the wrong way up. I knew something was wrong there. Two, three, diagonal, down, over the top. Diagonal, down, over the top. And then from the diagonal, back to base, parallel. One, keep going the wrong way around. Two, Three. So it's almost like you go and collect, you go and collect your arm. Done it again. There. Two. Three. Get it over the top. Back to base. Go and get it over the top. And then from that diagonal, back to base, and off we go again. I've, I've, I've lost the rhythm of my own arms and legs here, folks. Can you tell? Take a pause. The best thing to do when it all goes a bit pear-shaped, as it did then, is switch it off, draw a line, draw a line, line, line. Uh, in sit, it's the same, but your sway is going to be different. Your sway doesn't come from the, your legs so much as your, as your buttocks. Let's see if I can get it right in sit. 
So let's go again. In sit, it will go once, twice. Here's the diagonal, but then I'm going to go and get my hand, take it over the top, put in the diagonal again, come back to base, carry on. I've done it again. <laughs> I've done it again, folks. I'm getting the arms and the legs around the wrong way. Uh, I've got to stop at some point. I can't, I can't keep going, can I? Because we'll be here forever. There we go. It's the, it's the palms facing each other. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm coming undone on my own sway here, folks. <laughs> should, we, should we quit while I'm ahead? That. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and move on to the stretches is what I'm going to do. Making myself people now. Um, uh, what did I want to say? Your, your seated sway is from the buttocks, not from the feet. That was it. Uh, I think I was just going to say, let's have a stretch. Let's have a stretch. And have a pause. <laughs> have a stretch. Into your chest stretch. Take a pause. Stay there if you like. Or just move in and out. Smoothly in and out. There's your chest stretch position. And then, and then, and then. Back of the arms. So checking in with your shoulder moves today. How comfortable are you to get your hands to the side or the back of the head? And then move in for the more fixed hold position. Then the back of the arms come a little bit closer. Head is still. Maybe support the arm if that helps. Slowly in, slowly out. Maybe a couple of repeats. And um, your elbow will be in anywhere between pointing down to the floor, up, 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 up. It might be there, it might not. It's relative to you and your comfortable range. The stretchy bit is where you just find your, your usual kind of sticking point. Take a pause. We're stretching muscles in the back of the arms. Maybe you can feel you can creep up a little bit more, slowly, slowly as it goes. It's a, a critical movement, isn't it? To feel confident and comfortable to do all the stuff that life requires us to do over there. Not only in sit or stand, but also in, in lying position. So getting your hands and your arms to the back of your head, washing, dressing, all of those things. Side of trunk, your bendy bits. In the 8 a.m. we do a bend. Here in the 4 p.m. We, we kind of take a different kind of bend. It's more, rather than bending down, we, we extend out. So we're just looking to stretch down the side of the trunk. A couple of ways we can do that. We can bring in the arm to help, reach, then lift. So you can see this bit here is the, the extendy bit. And the arm is just a couple of seconds in the air there. If it's not comfortable for you to stay up there, don't. Sit or stand, you choose. Other options could be, take the arms here, take a raise, have a breath in, maybe have a bit of an extra bend there, come back and then come down. So this might offer support for the, for the arms, might be more comfortable around the shoulders. Other options could be an out, out the long way, and back through the shortcut. Out through the long way, back through the shortcut. And that is pretty much covered. Your chest stretch, your back of your arms, and the size of the trunk, which leaves legs to do. Back of thigh and calves. I'm going to take these in seated position. It almost feels like a bit of a luxury to have a chair to do this, not by the side of the road or in a car park or in my car. So I can give you a, a clearer visual on this one now. Inactive sit, legs out, extended but relaxed, the foot's to the floor, the knees a little bit bent. There's the lift, there's the extend. That's the feeling of stretch there on the backs of the legs. Maintain the usual breath. You might want to have a reach down as well, just to check in with how comfortable you are getting your hands to the lower part of your, uh, of your ankles and feet. And of course, this movement, or improving this movement around the hips and improving this flexibility is going to help with this exact action here of getting your hands lower to the floor. And that feeling of stretch is going to be on the back of the thighs. That's what we're trying to feel. It's comfortable, but you know it's there. Maybe it's a comfortable uncomfortableness. That's pretty much how stretch positions feel. Everything is slow, slowly in, slowly out, no sudden movements. Feel the tension and then slowly come back. Final one is our calves. Calves. There's my foot there. 
Top half stays still, it's the foot that moves now. So my feet come back, press the heel forward, and now you're gonna feel the stretch in the back of the lower leg there. Press, press, press forward, and toes come back, back to base. Maybe a couple of repeats, two or three. As many as you feel is comfortable, press, press, press and squeeze. And you'll also feel some shin activity here because it's the shins that pull your toes up. Or, and if it's right for you, you might like a standing option for which we use fixed firm external support. Maybe take a back step. There's the board. You can see me toe hinges in action there. Press the heel down, lift up, get some extra stretch in the front of the hip. Now you've got stretch in two positions front of hip and back of calf. You might want to play around with a controlled heel raise, feeling those stretchier positions, and the same on the other leg. To do the other leg, change the support side. Have a check in on this position here that you've still got a gap between your feet. Your feet are still hip width. That's where your, your better balance position comes from. And you might want to run through those top end ones again if you fancy. So you can combine them together to find stretchy positions that are right for you. You might want this one. There's the stretch for the upper back. If you've been playing tennis today, this one. You might want this one. Maybe Novak's doing this one tomorrow in preparation. I'm sure he's not. I only said Novak because I can't pronounce the winner of the female title today. It's easier to say Novak, sorry. All right, Christine, talking to Novak is Christine. How was your Wimbledon experience, Christine? Tell us who you saw. I don't, I'm not sure my comments are working actually, so um, I probably have to come off the live and then wait, wait, wait for them to come through. That's your 4 p.m., folks, that is it. Now, this marks the end of a week of Townley Triples. You really do need a rest from me. Kels is with you tomorrow for all three. Thank you, Kels. Uh, I'm hot-footing it back up north. Next week, Kels and I are together on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, so be prepared for that. Uh, I'll see you around about Monday and Tuesday from somewhere, but Kels is back in the mix. So uh, you've got at least two of us back in the mix. Dave's still on holiday. See you on Monday from somewhere, everyone. And just a chaos tomorrow for all three. Bye for now.